In this short video, we're going to take a look at acceleration, not so much from the tactical point of view, but more so from some conditioning angles and ideas. A fast start requires specific dynamics. There are numerous ways to develop this power, and we explored some with Pippa. So we started the session doing some bounds and some speed bounds from a standing position over about 10 metres. Pippa worked on driving the ground away and behind her and a big arm action. The latter creates the space for the legs to move over a longer range. We progressed to putting these actions into place from various starts, from various positions. We saw immediate improvement, particularly when she managed to use a larger arm action. As I've said before, this enables more room to be created for the legs and they can travel further and also impart more force back down into the surface. I also stress taking the knees away from you in order to get full extension through each of the drive steps. The feet need to be kept low to the ground and not lifted and cycled unduly to avoid too much air time. Here's Javari doing similar out in the States. Now we see Jonathan working on his start. A huge amount of power is required to hit the correct positions. At the beginning of this video we looked at ways to develop this power using speed bounds for example. When performed from a lean start these exercises are great for developing acceleration. There's also a very close movement match with what's required of the sprint start and acceleration phase. The best accelerators are those who can impart maximum force with maximum frequency over the acceleration phase. Research indicates concentric strength is key to acceleration. Concentric jumps develop this quality. A pause is required between each jump in order to switch off the stretched reflex. Plyometric activity is vital, however, soon after initial acceleration. Suitable activities include drop jumps as well as bounds and speed bounds. To maximise your sprint performance, you need to include plyometrics, concentric training and even eccentric training into your workouts, of which more later in another video. Good luck with your training and thanks for listening.